Hello and welcome. In probably my most popular video on this YouTube channel, uh, I covered the question of who makes the brightest lightsaber. And while I tried to answer that as best I could, my ultimate finding was that pretty much all lightsabers are bright enough, uh, and I advised people to go for hilt designs and features that they liked, and to stop putting so much thought and effort into who makes the brightest lightsaber, when they're all pretty much the same level of brightness. Now, a lot of people didn't like that answer, and a lot of people wanted a lot more, or a lot more detail on that, what do you mean by pretty much? Now, since there are differences in brightness, uh, I figured I'd come back in this video and actually answer that question as best I could. Who makes the brightest lightsaber? Which lightsabers are brighter than others? And what do you sacrifice in order to obtain that brightness? Um, now, there are several different factors that go into the brightness of a lightsaber, as I covered in the first video. Things like diffusion uh, of the blade, things like the current, things like the optic. The primary determining factor is the LED, so that's what I'm covering today, and I've tried to accommodate for that as best I can. All three of these lightsabers you see in front of me are all using identical blades. These are single diffused. 24 inch blades. They're uh, big enough that I can get them within the frame of this camera. Uh, these over here are using dual diffuse, but I'll get to those in just a second. The lightsabers that are here in front of me, I have an Electrum Sabercraft Arrant using a quad core red, green, blue, white LED. I have a Vader's Vault Legionnaire using Sun Crusher green, green, white. And I have a uh, Ultra Sabers Warglaive using a tri -Cree green, green, green. Over here to my side, I have a Tempest in uh, with an RG or with Suncrusher red, green, blue color changing, and a newer model Electrum Air. So I'll compare these in just a little bit, but uh, first let me talk about the idea of the LED. Now there are slight differences between the LEDs on the market, but by and large they're roughly the same brightness, in, with, especially within this industry. Yes, you can get crummy LEDs. Nobody is using them in lightsabers, really. So if it doesn't come down to the maker of the LED, really what it comes down to is how many dyes or how many light emitting surfaces that LED is using. Now cheaper lightsabers are only going to be using one, one dedicated color. Uh, Ultra Sabers stunt models are going to be like this. Um, the Saber Forge 12 watts use a quad core, which has four dyes in the middle, but not all of them are going to be lit at the same time. Uh, quad core is what you get in color changers like the Electrum Errant. Um, a lot of other models are using tri crees or three core, three light emitting surfaces. Now that's what the Sun Crusher from Vader's Fault uses, that's what the tri cree from Ultra Sabers uses. So it comes down to how many of those diodes are emitting light at one time. So what you'll see here, let me turn this on. All right. So this is my Electrum Sabercraft. Now this is currently just using the single green diode on its color chain or uh, on its quad core. So this is one green die. Now let's compare that to the Vader's Vault Legionnaire, which is going to be using two green die. <laughs> All right, now let's compare these to the tri Cree Ultra Saber, which is using three green dye. And one of the things that people kept asking on my first video, well, what about the uh, Vader's Vault? They have such a reputation. Now, I covered that when I did a review of this saber. This is a great saber, but the color changing green on here, compare this to the single green dye on the Electrum Errant. Now this is a dual diffused blade, so there's a little bit of a difference in light, but really the brightness of this Vader's Vault color changer versus this Electrum Errant 
it is the same thing. It's one solid green light emitting, or one solid green dye emitting light. When I had all three of these up there though, you notice that they do definitely get brighter as we go across. This one is noticeably brighter than this one. This one is brighter than this one, but not as noticeably as this one is to that one. Okay, the reason here is that there's a law of diminishing returns. There's only so much electrical current that you can push through this thing off of one of the batteries that's in these, and these all have very similar batteries. So three green dye is going to be brighter than two green dye, which is going to be brighter than one green dye. This is not two times as bright as that. This is not three times as bright as that. But you do get an increase in light. Now, what you give up, you cannot get full red, green, blue color changing with, uh, with multiple dye on a solid color like green. Okay, this thing is achieving it through uh, green, green, white. The white is for the flash on a flash and nothing else. Okay, that makes this one brighter. But that means that this one can never be blue, can never be red. If we're looking at a single solid color like red, green, or blue, uh, they're all going to be, or the only way to get brighter is to add more dye, and you're going to give up the color changing. So two, or two dye, you give up the color changing, but you still get the flash on clash. All right, three dye, you give up the color changing and the flash on clash. This thing only has three greens. Okay, those three greens are running all the time. I could have a flash on clash that dulls the color on something like this. Ultra Sabers doesn't offer one, but you could do it where it flashes off or to a lower, but it's never gonna flash white or red because all the dye are running all the time. This one's keeping that one dye in reserve. So what do you sacrifice for the brightness? You sacrifice features, you sacrifice versatility. The red, green, blue color mixing, you sacrifice that for brightness in a sun crusher. The flash on clash, you sacrifice that for brightness in a solid three or tri -cree. All right, now uh, one thing about the brightness and what about the quad core. In my original video, I talked about the idea of blends. Everything I've talked about so far here has been about single color, green to green to green. Right? If we're talking blends, yeah, that quad core can come in. It is not going to be four times brighter than a single die, but it is noticeably brighter, and it's even brighter than the three. Okay, what we're talking about with a quad core, though, let me fire this one up. All right, so here I have this saber set to pulse between one white LED going on full, which is the low pulse, and the red, green, blue, and white going on full, which is the high pulse. So you notice the difference here in the pulse? Okay, let me switch it to the next setting, which is just the solid white. There we go, that's just the white LED going. All right, so the only time that, that quad core is gonna come into play is when we're dealing with whites, where we've got them all running at the same time. If you're looking for blend colors, you can get more brightness out of the quad core than you could out of a single die. Uh, if you're looking at solid colors, though, you're looking at one die versus two die versus three die. So brightest things on the market, um, it's going to be these two and three die things, either on the custom market, uh, either running two die, running three die, or it's going to be whites running four die. But uh, otherwise, it doesn't really get much brighter than that. For my money, though, I would refer you back to the answer that I gave you in the last video, which is, is this, is this one brighter than this one? Yes. But to the naked eye, these are both green. I get these things closer to the camera, this one has more of an aura around it than this one. And if I love green and I'm never going to use anything but, that works. But uh, by and large, they're both green, they're both bright. Uh, and my answer for the, for, for the last video, which was look at the features, look at the design. Do you want it to color change or are you only going to ever use it green? If you're going to use it green all the time, sure, go for two dye. Go for three if you don't care about flash on clash. If you're going to want a color change, you're going to want other features, stick with the single dye, deal with a little bit of cut and brightness. By and large, they're all awesome. They're all green, they're all bright, they're all lightsabers. Hopefully this has been of use. If it has, please join me back for more videos and subscribe.